this video we are making hamburger steaks with gravy we're starting out with three pounds of ground beef I'm adding some McCormick's hamburger seasoning I'm probably adding about two tablespoons of it to my hamburger meat once I have that in there I'm using some nature seasoning by Morton's and I'm just giving it a good sprinkle and then I'm adding a splash of Dell's. It's probably about a quarter cup of Dell sauce to my hamburger meat. I'm going to mix this up really well. And then I'm going to start forming my patties. I'm going to get these into my pan, get them started cooking. I'm not going to cook them completely through, but they're going to be almost done. Making sure they're brown on both sides, then I'm going to pull them up. Now I've cleaned my pan, put some vegetable oil in it, and I am sauteing up an onion. Once I have my onion sauteed, I'm going to pull it out of the oil. I'm going to put the oil back onto the eye, and I'm going to drop three big heaping tablespoons of flour into my oil. I'm going to start to brown this up. I didn't have enough oil, so I had to add some more oil to it. I'm going to let this get a good dark deep brown. Once we have our flour browned up, I am putting my onions back into the mix. And now I'm going to start adding some beef broth. I'm using about 28 ounces of beef broth. This is a 32 ounce carton and I only used um, about 28 ounces of it. I'm going to keep adding this and as it comes up to a bowl and starts to thicken I'm going to add more and I'm going to repeat this process each time adding a little bit more Okay, this time I am adding some salt, about a teaspoonful, and some black pepper, about a teaspoon of black pepper, into my roux. I'm going to stir it up, let it come back up to a bubble, and now I'm going to add my um, hamburger steaks back into the pan, and I'm going to turn the heat down to about three on my stove. It's just a really low cook temp. I'm going to put the lid on these, let these simmer for about 10 minutes, and they were done. They're so delicious. I served mine over a bed of rice. I hope you try it. hope you enjoy it. Please make sure you sprinkle the video for me and come back to the Shabby Kitchen for more recipes. Thanks for watching.